So this is our morning move about an hour late and they know it, they're ready to move. You can see where they've been. You can see where they're going. I just set a line up about a hundred feet up the way. Uh, I'm gonna pull this and I'm gonna walk back. Come on ladies, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. Come on, come on. I want to keep that tight so they don't learn to come over that line. It's fixing to come out of that little post, so. Come on. Come on. Easy now. Easy. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm going to close it behind them. Watch out, girl. <clears throat> now, I don't have water up on this hill. don't have water up on this hill so we're letting them go back to where they came from this is all new ground it was pine trees that hurricane michael destroyed so it's not the end of the world that there's a lot of pressure on it we've planted bahia grass up here last year and uh, we got a good stand i mean you can see all the seed heads in there by the end of the summer that's going to be really thick um and so it'll be it'll be a good good pasture it's just new ground takes a long time okay you got tons of this kind of crap there's little wild cherries eventually those will have a little berry on them that's toxic to livestock and so and then we got all these brambles in here that have got a you know just it's just a matter of we've pulled them and we've we've mowed them and we hadn't sprayed them i don't know if i've we may be backing up i don't know we may have should have sprayed them first i don't know but uh, we try not to spray things if we can help it and um but those brambles we just can't seem to get rid of and you can see out here everything that's left standing is the brambles and so cows have eaten all the way around them and so what we'll do is once they graze completely off of this they got two more moves before they make it to the end um, so we've got basically two more days here two two to three days here <clears throat> we'll come up here with the mower and we'll mow these brambles down all these these briars and just junk we'll mow that down and hopefully that'll get the bahia grass a chance to really grow um if we get <clears throat> if we get lots of rain in june the bahia grass will outcompete a lot of that stuff if june is a really dry month then we're going to contend with briars and brambles and china berries and um all this other wild crap in here that we don't want but This is something that has come in with a vengeance. We have burned that stuff. I mean, I've got a torch that you can drag around out here and we've just burned those to the ground. Those are thistles. They, they came in here with Hurricane Michael and uh, we never had those things until after Hurricane Michael and it has just been a nightmare. But uh, anyway. We've got a fly rub down there by the water trough. And you see, like, <clears throat> Penny doesn't have a fly on her. She's got some right on her belly there. But on her back and her face, there's not too many on her. This cow right here, they're everywhere. She won't go under the fly rub. And so some cows do and some cows don't. This one right here is just as slick and pretty as she can be very few flies and um there's no rhyme or reason some cows just know some cows will just figure it out um old big ears right here she's you know just about no flies whatsoever real slick pretty hide and uh she's um she's figured out i can get under that fly rub and rub on it the flies go away 
some of these cows just don't figure it out for whatever reason and they just they just don't <clears throat> you can spray uh the fly spray on them uh, it's basically like deep woods off it's a permethrin based um deterrent and um the problem is is that when you spray them you know if it rains within 48 hours it just about doesn't last i mean it just washes off so fast see that cow's got a ton of flies on her and uh she's one that just won't go under the rub so the spray on stuff it works and it and it gets the flies away but it just doesn't last it doesn't have once it gets even real heavy dew in the morning um it just kind of kind of just washes off of them and so you can see on her back she's got the fly rub she's been rubbing on that fly rub so she won't have flies for very long that one won't but uh Oh, big mama right here is covered in flies. She just ain't gonna get under that fly rub, are you, baby? You just ain't gonna do it. So one of the things we wish we had, we don't, is a little bit of shade. Um, the only shade we have in this pasture is way down yonder. And so, you know, the cows have to have shade in the afternoon because it just gets so hot. Um, we've looked at shade structures. We've looked at portable shade claws. We've looked at those carports you can get and drag around out here. Um, with the pandemic and the shortage of everything, it's all just so far out of reach price-wise. Um, we looked at those little, you know, 20 by 20 metal garages, you know, and putting some skids on it. Those things were expensive two years ago. Now they're, you know, four thousand dollars now, and that's just cost prohibitive an operation the size of ours and so so the strategy right now is just to let them go back to shade at the end of the pasture down there um, eventually we'll have something out here for them but it's just it's just not feasible right now because of the cost <clears throat> and once we get water up here um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll have to get shade because we won't let them go back on themselves. So normally the situation we've got right now is what we would normally do in a strip grazing kind of way. This line over here is back up. And so they can only access this, this one little section. It's a hundred feet by about 500 feet. And so this line right here was the line that they came up to yesterday, they had access to this on the right. And so in a normal strip grazing setup, we'd open that line like we did, let them walk through and then put it back in place. The line over there keeps them from, you know, not going past that point. So they only have access to this little cell, this little paddock. And, um, if we had a shade structure out here and if we had water accessibility out here we would just leave them right here and it'd be a whole lot healthier on pasture <clears throat> but that's not where we are right this minute and so all all little steps we'll get there but uh we're just not quite there yet the advantage of not letting them come back on this is that they wouldn't overgraze it they don't trample it down and it just ends up being healthier um, by default they don't graze down the lush yummy stuff so bad and that gives the the briars and the brambles and all those bad things we talked about it gives those more of a foothold to grow and so 
if they overgraze something, the bad stuff's always going to grow because they just don't graze stuff that's not any good. They always graze the yummy stuff. So that's it for now. On Sunday, we're going to introduce Mr. Sir into these heifers and ladies. We had a bull in. Uh, we had Triton, the big Hereford bull from 6R Farms. We had him in here uh, earlier in the year, and we, we kept him in here about three months. And so I'm feeling like most everybody's probably bred, um, but the ones that aren't, some of these younger heifers and um, you know these mamas that were, were were just not cycling regularly because they were nursing calves um, Mr. Sir is going to come in Mr. Sir is our Angus Simmental bull and uh, really 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 impressive looking and so he's about 18 months old 19 months old and so he's um He's really coming into his own and looking sharp. And so we're gonna introduce him in here Sunday. We're gonna keep him in here 45 days with the ladies. And then we'll pull him out and put him, you know, with his cohort. And uh, hopefully, hopefully everybody will be, will be pregnant at that point. All right. This is Ryan with the Lazy Acres Family Farm. Hey, if you like our channel, go ahead and click that like button. If you really like it, subscribe to it. And if you want to be notified by YouTube, click the little bell over there. And uh, they'll let you know when we upload a new video. We hope y'all have a big old good day. We'll see you.